What's up, Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Last episode, we went over the different tiers of production. Now what we want to do is we want to try to turn our respawn ship into a tier two producer. Right now, all it has is a survival kit, so it is one tier production. We're going to try to upgrade and make the respawn ship a little bit more efficient. Let's go ahead and get this started. For those people who didn't see the last episode, I suggest go ahead and take a look. I'm going to be doing this step by step each video, trying to show you guys how to get all this stuff done. Now, the survival kit right here is the only way you have of uh, producing resources at the moment. If we could go into production, as you can see, these are the only components that we could build right now with the survival kit, which will be enough to get us up to the next tier which is the basic refinery and the basic assembler. But one thing we do have to be careful of is access. <laughs> the inventory access or conveyor access on each one of the items so that way we can connect the damn thing. Now, if we take a look, we do have a couple of open spots. Like right here, we have an open spot here in the back, but we also have to be careful because in the back of the ship, back here as you can see there are a bunch of thrusters which are pretty much blocking everything except for a few access points not only that but we also have some armor blocks that are blocking as well so one thing you don't want to do is at some point you do want to get this inside of a tunnel uh, or bring it close to an asteroid you really don't want anything hanging off the top or the bottom or somewhere in the back that you can't see and then it ends up getting destroyed. So what you want to try to do is you want to try to put things into the ship and still keep it within the same profile. Makes it a lot easier to make sure that you keep things safe and it won't get blown up. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go upgrade this to tier two production, which is the basic assembler and basic refinery. Now when it comes to basic refinery, it only has two access points, one on this side and one on the other. The assembler, did I turn it upside down? I think I did, hold on. The assembler only has one access point right here. Now I've done this before, so I know exactly where I wanna put it. It's up to you where you wanna put these things, but it's a lot more efficient if you go ahead and put it on the ship instead of trying to build yourself a stationary station. Now, where I like to put these is, first thing I'll do is I'll get rid of the vent. You don't really need it all that much. Uh, there are some bottles in the O2 generator on your respawn ship you can get. Let me actually show you real quick. So up here in the top of the O2 generator, which is next to the engine. Oh, it doesn't have bottles. There they are. They're inside of the small cargo container. Now this is the oxygen bottle and this one is a hydrogen bottle. They do hold oxygen and hydrogen for your suit. I recommend making more of those when it is possible. So having oxygen inside of the cockpit is not really all that necessary. So we could get rid of the vent and we could at least put the basic assembler and make sure that the access points are actually touching. Now we need to figure out the basic refinery. So there is a little spot right down here in the bottom that has two access points. 
if we come onto the bottom of the ship right here, all we have is a half uh, half block, which is right there. And then right underneath this light is the other access point for the O2 generator. Problem is, we got a gyroscope. Now a gyroscope, you can move at any point. You can move it anywhere you want. So what I like to do is I'd like to try to find somewhere else to put that gyroscope so that way I can get this access point right here. And that is where I'm going to put the basic refinery. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you leave this access point open for anything else you might want to add. So we're going to go ahead and turn basic. Let me get up here so you can see a little bit better. Okay, up here, fine. Make sure you turn the access point so that way the side, the left side, that does not have an access point is not covering up another access point. So we're going to put it right there. And then all I have to do is I have to figure out where I'm going to put the gyroscope, which I could just back up one block right there. Yeah, just put the gyroscope right there. It's not a big deal. So now if I go ahead and put that stuff in, we have now upgraded the ship to be a tier two producer. So right at the top, right in the ceiling where the vent used to be, right up there, that is the basic assembler. Down here, that is the basic refinery, and then I just back the gyroscope up to right here. Now there is one other thing that you could do, which may be a little bit difficult, but it will be beneficial later on especially when you try to get some of those other ores and that is to put a drill on the ship now the problem with that is there's really not an access point for it so we're gonna have to find one so a drill you probably want to have right on the front of your ship so that way it's easier for you to see and to control but the only access point we have is all the way back here so what we got to do is we have to get rid of these blocks that way we could go ahead and move a conveyor or get a conveyor to come all the way to the back now when you're doing stuff like this you have to be very very careful because when you get rid of a block and something is connected to it they are now free floating like that cockpit right there is not connected to anything what we have to do is we have to grind that down and build another one the same way with that light that's sitting right there on the front and the window that was right above it. Those will have to rebuild. Oh yeah. And don't forget, there's a rifle and I think some ammo. Yep. They were sitting in the seat. So now we have a spot right here where we can go ahead and put the miner. So if we take, or not the miner, the drill. So if we take our drill, put it right here. Now what we could do, since now we have a block, we could go ahead and take that cockpit and we could go ahead and place it back where it was. Or the control seat. My bad, it's called a control seat. Or a control station. Just put it back right where it was. Now, with the drills, you actually have five access points. You have one in the back and you have four of them on the sides, on all four sides. So all together, five. So what we could do is we now we could bring the conveyor all the way back to that cargo container right there and it will have inventory access and will go into the basic refinery to be processed. One thing you want to be careful of is you don't want to use regular conveyors on anywhere that you need to walk. You might get stuck. Right here in that hole right there, right in front of the door, I want to go ahead and place the conveyor junction. So that way I can make sure I don't fall in any holes. Then we'll take a regular conveyor and we'll just bring it back. I also need to grab the elbow. And we will just bring that back all the way to the back where the cargo container is. And then of course an elbow here. And there she is. Uh, one other thing is these right here. These, what are these called? I forget what they're called. Cover walls. These are no longer connected to the ship as well. Or either. So go ahead and get rid of those before they start floating off. 
and there it is now you have yourself a respawn ship that you have transformed into a tier 2 producer not only that but now it has a drill so go ahead grab yourself some stones so that way you can get more resources processed and in next episode we'll be going over drilling which is always exciting but until then make sure to like and subscribe all that good stuff i'll see you on the next one peace